What is up, you guys? Watching on YouTube back again. We get another reaction video today. We're gonna to react to 52 goes off on Kim Star live on camera. Oh, let me draw this light a little bit. The same, the same, the same. It's about a storm, but yeah, we're gonna be reacting to this. Um, I've heard Fousey talk about July 15th forever, and now we're gonna see what was popping and what happened on July 15th. I guess it was some huge concert he wanted to do to, to um, stop the hate and uh, spread the love and the saying. So let's get it started. In a three, a two, a one. I was terrible. Three, two, one, zero. Ash, get it. Never met face to face. Oh, you know, this, this for a moment in time. I invested all my money into this event and okay. I get it for free. My accountant said, Yusuf, where are you going to make your money? I said, that's not a problem to me. I didn't care, right? But before I even got to do the event. I'm going to get the purple Before socks. I got to tell my story. LV belt. You're making a documentary on in the, it. In the crop you top. post it after the fact. Raindrop. So if it Drop flops, top. you can have the hot news on how Fousey fucked up and he should kill himself. Right. Facts. Or if it's a success, Facts. I become a good person. But why are you going to profit on me being a good person? Why tell can't him. I make a documentary on this story? Tell him. Tell him. Spit the facts, boy. I'm not saying it, but I'm not saying it in private. Straight up. I'm just talking, and you know what? My feelings towards you goes nothing towards your group. I love fucking banks. I love banks. You know why? That year that I gave up, I would DM banks at random, and he's at the top running shit in LA, and he would still DM me back. Real nigga. I asked him if I could join Clout Gang in his DMs when I was sitting on my couch smoking weed playing Fortnite giving up on life, but he still gave me attention. He didn't say yes, but God wanted that to happen because he wanted July 15th to happen. Banks doesn't give me attention. He gives me attention in real life. You're giving me attention because it's going to put money in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Yo, yeah, no hate tonight. Hey guys, guys, can I tell y'all something? Fuck on the ball. Hey, what is that? The fuck? No. He said no. Oh, and she said stop. <laughs> You're still talking about the little things. You're heating up your breakfast when I'm heating up my dinner. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Is he rapping? Hey. You burning in the summer while I'm bundled up in the winter. Okay. The reason, even when I hated you, I never spoke against you because I said I want to speak to him in real life and have a face-to-face -face conversation. What I'm saying is not hate. I'm just telling you as a man at 28 years old what I feel. You made me want to commit suicide last year. I wanted to kill myself because of all the attention you gave me. I rewatched videos going viral after the attention you're giving me now of you saying, Boosie is the biggest piece of shit egotistical asshole on this earth. I have bipolar and depression. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself. Fucking star! Hey! No, no, hey, no, hey! They got real. Hold on, bro. This is. Hey, it's all about love, not hate! Hey! Hey, finally, I gotta get to it, because I gotta figure out what's going on. I gotta relax. The story how I met Drake. I guarantee you I'll be with Drake tonight in the club. I promise you that. Yo, here we go. Here we go. I gotta get out of here after this. Listen. Guys, everyone quiet. I roll out of my house with my boys. We decide to go eat. The restaurant we decide to go to, TMZ was outside. They flashed pictures of me. The first time ever in life TMZ cared enough about me because of July 15th. And I say, LeBron James, I need you. <laughs> I say, LeBron James, you tell us that you're more than an athlete. Well, I need you to be a human right now and come to the speed show in Los Angeles. 
People called me crazy for it, but I was treating him like a brother. He has more talents than me in basketball. He has more money than me, more success than me, but it doesn't mean he's above me. So I was reaching out to everybody on a personal level. Through this whole process, I've been in conversation with the greats. Lenny S, thank you so much. DJ Khaled's manager. Yes. DJ Khaled, Palestine, yo Lord! Yeah. Yeah. I was Real talking nice. to Alfredo Flores. Yes. The beautiful Alfredo Flores, who that? always talks God's scriptures into my heart. Alfredo, I love you. Shout out to Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, Woo! by the way. <laughs> oh, I know who that is. Everybody hated on them. I realized, Justin just realized, that his life's purpose is under his wife's feet. So that's why he made Haley his queen. Yes. So, so yesterday I go out of my house with the intention of meeting Drake. I run into TMZ, I already start the energy. We go inside the place. We leave the place. We go to this place called Lure. On our way to the place called Lure, I get out my window because I got energy and I go, hey yo, Drake, I feel your energy. I can't wait to meet you, all this shit. I was crazy, I was off my rocker. I had no idea how I was gonna meet Drake. We get to the place. I asked my brother Country, the best friend to me, my brother, I told him his kid is good for life after this. I told my brother Country, are you sure this is the place? Three times he said yes. I go up, I say I need bottle service. I'm thinking Drake's inside. I'm willing to spend whatever it takes to make my dreams manifest. I pay the thousand dollars, I'm walking inside, I see it's called Ooh. I go, country, where are we meant to be? He goes, Delilah. I go, country, this says it's lure. He goes, fuck. <laughs> I'm pissed, but I learned that God makes no mistakes. So instead of taking my anger out on country, I walk away and I stay quiet. And I said, as your brother, I just need to relax. My boy, Andrew. Yes. Shout out to Woo! Andrew. Woo! He's one of the kings of New York. He runs shit with 50 out in New York. We have big players in the game in this, huh? He got OT Genesis tonight. He got Dipset set to reunite on stage. He got Wi-Fi's funeral to come on board. I was in DMs with Game, Snoop Dogg, E40, oh 6 9 Shout out Shoddy. I was on FaceTime with Shoddy pissing myself. Oh, snap! I see Shoddy, I get scared. I'm on FaceTime. I'm throwing Trey away for world peace. I'm scared. Anyways, shout out to my crew. I'll talk about, I'll talk about them later. We get in the car, I'm pissed, Andrew finds a solution. He goes, Drake's at Delilah's with his dad. Let's go. We skirt over there. <laughs> I see the guy from TMZ from earlier. I'm like, oh shit. I go, get out the car. We get out the car, the guy's gone. He My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna pause it. Outside of Delilah in front of Drake's room, I don't know what to do. But I had a purpose. We try to get in, security goes, we can't. I go, fine. I walk away. I call OVO Johnny. OVO Johnny has a tattoo shop out in Toronto, Canada. He gave me this tattoo of my dog that died, dollar, rest in peace, in one week. R.I.P. Dollar, real name. And Muffin, my queen, he gave me this tattoo for free because he said, I know how much it means to you. Damn, so. I was talking to him through this whole thing. I call OVO Johnny and I'm telling him what's happening. And I'm like, am I a leech for this? Am I doing something wrong? He doesn't tell me to stop. And he doesn't say, I'll text Drake for you or my brother, Ovio Ryan. He goes, just put your faith in God. So I, I keep going. I called Lexi, Lexi Pantera, a beautiful artist and dancer. She was also in Tyler Perry's Boom and Halloween one. She was twerking on my hand. Always. Um, I call her just to get her energy. I'm, I'm creating energy, right? around me, through everybody, the universe, everybody's on the same mission. I get the idea. I walk back to my crew and I go, I need y'all to leave. My security guard goes, what, what do you mean? I said, take the crew and leave. I need to do this by myself. I'm standing outside of Drake's club by myself. He rented out Delilah. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. They won't let me in. I don't have my ID, I don't have my credit card. But I got a dream. I wanted to meet Drake that night. So I started tweeting it and putting it out to the universe. If you go to twitter.com backslash Fusi, you'll see all, everything I'm about to say as it happened chronologically. I'm outside Delilah's not knowing what to do. I look to my left, I see Benjamin Kicks. Never met the dude in my life. I started walking, went right up to him, shared with him the energy. July 15th, here's its purpose, listen to the song. This is what the song means. He loved it. As that's happening, another artist come. What was his name? 
the guy who I put on, one of the first openers. I had another artist, right? He comes right up to me. He goes, I was born in East LA. I don't want to die. Huh? Show Luciano. Show Luciano. He goes, I was born in East LA, but I don't want to die in East LA. Can I get on your stage tomorrow? I said, 100%, it's yours. Gave him my phone number. He looks at me in the eye. He goes, I got you with anything you need. I'm standing there. I don't know what to do. I go back to Benjamin Kicks. Show Luciano walks around me and he goes to the parking garage. And he goes, Fusi, come on. He's about to get in through the back. So I'm chasing him all excited. I'm about to meet Drake. When all of a sudden I look back, I don't know why, and I go back to Benjamin. By the time I turn around, he's already in the party. I'm like, shit, I gotta look for another way in. So I started tweeting again. I'm gonna meet Drake tonight. I was putting it out there into the universe. All of a sudden, I just decided to pull out my Instagram and say a message to Drake, Drake, I'm here outside right now. I'm crying outside the club. I want to get inside. I have a message to share with you. Thank you for your music. You've helped me a lot in life. And I put it out there with true intentions. That's energy. I posted it to the world. Everybody believing in my message, believed in it. That's energy. Because we were supporting each other. Still sitting at the club, don't know what to do. The guy who sold me those Louis Vuittons that I sold is outside the club. These were two girls. I tell them about July 15th, I gave them the energy, they now know. They didn't even know Drake was inside, I said Drake's inside right now. The door opens, they're getting let in. The bouncer goes, girls only. I knew it was happening for a reason, so I didn't even move, I just did this. The girl goes, no, 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 that's my guy, he gets to go in, I stay outside. Hey man, you wanna get to the good part? Right? <laughs> Is it really I got slotted? Alright, that's pretty much it. Alright, I appreciate you guys for watching and for tuning in. Um, this was an interesting video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, wow. <laughs> This is an interesting video. All right, I appreciate you guys for watching and tuning in. It's pretty interesting, um, especially seeing how Fusi confronted his arch nemesis, his arch nemesis, uh, Keemstar. As you can tell, my power just went out uh, randomly. I think it was already a storm, but still, goddamn. So, okay. It looks like our power's out. All right, guys, love you guys. Oh, shit. Just Came back. Go. All my social media in the description box below and end card this video. Main channel in the description box below. Clothing channel in the description box below. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and for watching. Please sub positive like always. This is Watch My Streets Now for yet another video. I'm out. Peace. Pray for me. I'm about to hit the yay button. I don't want to say nothing wrong, but it'd be wrong if I ain't say nothing.